kickboxer back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponent on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jiu-jitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. Great to be back in the H-Town tonight. We are in Houston, Texas, USA, live from Toyota Center. Good to have you with us tonight. And this building has a lot of history for my man, DC. Be Gustafson here, Roy Nelson back in the day. We'll see what's in store for these athletes tonight. This arena has been great for the American Kickboxing Academy. Cain Velasquez was able to retain his title in this arena, too. And also home to the greatest NBA franchise in history, the Houston oh. Rockets. Tonight they will blow. Look, the night the UFC blows the roof off the building, but every night James Harden and now Russell Westbrook should put on a show in this fantastic arena. Spoken like a true Golden State Warriors fan. Clutch City, baby, Clutch City. Right down the middle. Clutch City, baby. Which hat you wearing today? Which hat you wearing today? <laughs> I'm wearing a rocket. We're wearing a Houston. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Oh, nice punch there by Hooker. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swinging a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. It's such a fast leg kick. Right punches there. Big ball for Clutch Land. Now he gets back to range. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, there's the double leg takedown. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know no when, when to hold him. Yep, there you absolutely. Go. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, beautiful hook. Lands with the right hand. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like a dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hitting bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Grabbing the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing those beautiful punches. Really has got his opponent on notice here. The Korean Superboy gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Back and forth we go. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. 
great punch. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. He blocks the punch. Single collar tie now. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Oh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. There's the shot. There's the takedown by Hooker. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Oh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arms. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with his hips and his legs, making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get grounded upon into the mat, or if you're going to give your back up, where he will then start to chase chokes. A lot of energy expenditure defensively if you are the bottom fighter in this equation. Watch the strike. Round two straight ahead. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Get the better you the strike. I want you to cut those angles and get out of his range. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. We have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Straight punch lands. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Joy gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Head kick. Good kicks there by Hooker. Oh, perfect timing on the Superman punch. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Head kick lands. Oh, that's a nice strike. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Just misses there with the left. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Gets the elbow up into the target. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. Oh, beautiful leave the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Ooh, what a punch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Nice kick to directly into the finish. Nice kick. Hooker's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by choice. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Back to the feet now. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Nice punch there by Hooker. Just missed with the left there. And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice uppercut. 
continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. And just misses with that big right hand. Nice punch lands over the top. He gets to a spot, the tie punch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really? Yeah, he's hurt really bad. He's got hurt here. Oh, he might be out. Well, he misses with the left punch there. on the elbow. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish the fight. Courtesy of that punch in that round, DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Good punch, Lance. Hooker's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Leg kick. Watch the shot. Some nice back and forth action here. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, Superman punch is good. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Pretty good jab there by Hooker. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And they separate. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, a huge block there. And he continues to work the body here. Effective strike there by Hooker. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Three minutes to go in round three. Oh, collar tie. And they separate. It's very tricky when he throws that body. Back and forth we go! Whoa! Dude's hurt. 
Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, Superman punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big kick lands. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Hooker going to work here from guard. Nice combination there. Everything he throws is with fight ending intentions. Back to the feet now. Nice. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing it so fast and so crisp. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Nice punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. All right, single collar tie now. Right hand punch to the clinch. Superman punch. Big kick lands. Slips. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy and going. Oh! oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Back to the feet. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Oh, lead hook by Hooker. Big head kick land. Effective punch there by Hooker. And oh! What a round! Stop, stop. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed. Nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Big punch land. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Got the single collar tie. Big punch from the clinch. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurting. A finish could come here at any time. Troy gets absolutely punished by that head. Beautiful strike. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution 
of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can flip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. Just over three minutes to go. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Joy gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Over and over, he's landed this big body kick. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Connects with a right. in the single collar tie. Just over two minutes to go. Good punch. Oh, elbow, an elbow! He needs to start looking. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! Door. Oh, my goodness! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, four seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment.